Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Q&A. The example I just played was page 14 from one of my all-time favorite books. It's by John Riley and it's called Beyond Bot Drumming. And I'll get more into detail in a little bit because it relates directly to today's question. Alright, so here's the question of the day. So this is actually a really common question. A couple months ago, I went to a Thomas Lang drum clinic and somebody asked him the same question and his answer was absolutely brilliant. He said a lot of times when he hears people practicing, if they're trying to play a beat that sounds like this, Alright, so if that beat was the goal, this is what the practice session might actually sound like. So of course, everyone started laughing, including myself, but then I started thinking, has he been spying on me? Because I hate to admit it, but a lot of times that's what my practice sessions sound like. So he calls this type of playing noodling. And what really hit home for me is he said, if you play like this over 10 years, you've actually wasted five years of valuable practice time. So the obvious message here, it's the quality of our practice that means more than the quantity. And if we can combine the two, we'll definitely achieve quicker results. So what does all this have to do with page 14 from Beyond Bop Drumming? Everything. I've had this book since the late 90s and I still hadn't learned to play the page in all this time. I would sit down and start working on it and of course I'd start to noodle and here it is 2012 and I still hadn't learned to play it. So what I decided to do was create a series of short-term goals in order to achieve the long-term goal of being able to play the page. My original plan was to try to play two lines a day, and this way I would have the whole page down in five days. However, even doing that, I found I was noodling a lot, so I had to change my goal. So then I decided I'm going to do one line per day, and this way it would take me ten days. So a typical practice session, I would just focus on the first measure and I would play it really slowly over and over and over again until I got comfortable and then I would set a metronome and try to work it up to speed because I, I don't think I mentioned, but the, and this is probably why I was so scared of this page, is the goal tempo is 236, which I'm definitely a work in progress. Uh, the video clip at the beginning I did at 200, so I have a little ways to go. So I would basically start with the metronome and work my way up and then I would take a break move on to just the second measure do the same approach start without a metronome learn the mechanics of it set the metronome work my way up and then I would think okay now I can combine the two measures but for some reason I had a lot of trouble stringing the two together so I would do the same approach that I did individually and then eventually I would combine the two and work those up to speed and then I'd move on to the third bar and repeat the same struggle and eventually you get through the whole line and then the next day you review it you come back and then move on to the next line and then try to combine the two so it's definitely a uh, progression of practice sessions that build upon each other but 
It's amazing the results that you'll achieve if you just have these small goals.